Danielle Wheeler's on the dock, about to discover that her dare's on the deck of a destroyer, 20 k's from dry land. Danielle? Danielle. How are you? Thank you. Wow, what an exciting day we have got for you. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. Are you nervous? Um, I will be, I think. Well, listen, on Who Dares Wins today, we are very lucky to have taken over two Navy ships <laughs> for the entire day. OK, then. And they're both involved in your dare. <laughs> and what are we doing then? Well, your dare is to get from the HMAS Perth to the HMAS Newcastle and back again while we're travelling out to sea. Oh, that sounds fine to me. OK, you don't have to answer just yet, but what we are going to do mm -hmm. is go out to sea and then we can have a better look closer up. We're going to go out to sea for the day? I think we should. Come on. <laughs> we'll board the ship. Transfer. Lieutenant Adrian Rogers, the officer of the day, welcomes us aboard. Up goes the Who Dares Wins colours, and a course is set for Danielle's destiny. Barbara, by the time you finish telling everybody about your ride, your phone bill is going to be doubled. OK, imagine you're 20 k's off the coast on 4,000 tonnes of steel that's cutting through the ocean. That is where Danielle Wheeler is right now. When a couple of 4,000 ton vessels are travelling this close, both ship's captains and crews need to work like a well-oiled machine. Captain Roger. Soon, there'll only be 40 metres separating them. The crews are getting the jack stay ready for Danielle. First, a line is fired from the deck of the Perth to the Newcastle. That line is used to string the rope and the jack stay pulley between the two ships. If Danielle does step off the deck, she could be teabagged, which is the naval term for a donkey. This is no exact science, cause the rolling seas mean the line will only be attached to the Newcastle and the crews of both ships provide the tension by hand. The Danielle's the below deck, close. summoning up the courage for her dare. Meanwhile, above deck, the line's being tested. As you can see, there's a real good chance Danielle could end up in the drink, or worse, in an emergency, be dropped into the sea 20 kilometres from the coast. To be collected 15 minutes later, the time it takes for the ships to turn around. Danielle, that's a long time to be alone in the water. Right? Yep. Look at all the guys out here. They're all here <laughs> to get you from this side and back by the jack stay. So Danielle's about jack to jack discover jack. exactly how she'll get from ship to ship. This is real Navy stuff. Mm-hmm. And how big's the drop down to the water? Uh, you'll see it as being closer to the edge. We can't go near the edge unless both of us are kind of geared up um, okay. for emergency purposes. When you go up, just cross your arms across your will body. I be able to hold my arms together or will I be forced apart? No. Like As the ships roll in, you do get pretty close to the water. If you go in the water, mm -hmm. this life jacket's automatic inflation. If not, you put a little red toggle there. Yep. Pull that down and that'll inflate the life jacket. Just remember the ship will come back around to pick you up. How long does that take? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Doesn't that happen? Yeah. <laughs> all these guys on that ship and this ship are pulling you. It's all by them, okay? Oh, <laughs> Up to you if you want to go through with it. You've got a minute to think about it. But let's tell Vanessa what you're going to do. You can just see her. There she is. <laughs> She's having a wave. <laughs> Are you there, Vanessa? It's Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Here I am. I hope you're happy. I have to cross from this boat to your boat with a little metal screw holding me. Oh, that's awful. It sounds so hard. And I will get done. Oh, now that would just be a real shame, Miss Danielle Wheeler. Should I do it? I think you should. Good luck. Danielle, it's only 40 metres from deck to deck, but it's going to feel like 400. Both crews are ready. Are you? HMAS Perth and HMAS Newcastle of the Royal Australian Navy are travelling in tandem at 40 k's. The jack stays in place. Danielle's on the deck of the Perth with the Newcastle in her sight. You're about to be hooked on now. This is it. Are you still going to go through with it? Yeah. Danielle, don't forget you have to go to that ship and then come back here to HMAS Perth. So it's both ways. I don't think I knew that it was both ways. I'm <laughs> sure I told you that the before. The crews are about to tension the rope. Good luck. And Danielle's feeling the tension too. 
Keep your arms crossed, Danielle. We wouldn't want you slipping through that harness. <laughs> Danielle's 15 metres above the whitewater caused by the bow waves of these two mighty ships. Everyone back at work. I'm, I'm going to get you worse than you've got left. Ouch! Absolutely. As they pitch and roll, Danielle could find herself in the drink. She's completely helpless out there. It took a lot of ticker to take that trip, Danielle. But the dare's only half completed. Danielle? Yes, can you hear me? Yes? Oh, good. How was that? Oh, it knocks the wind out of you. Tell me what it was like. It actually hurts quite a lot. <laughs> your ribs are killing. Next time around, don't swing your legs as much. You should be OK. I oh, am. Yeah. Now, you've made it one way across. You're on the HMAS Newcastle. Are you prepared to come back and get up with us here? Yes, definitely. Fantastic. They're going to hook you back up, and you can tell me all about it when you get back over here with me. You ready for this again? Oh, up, up and away. All right, you're on your way now. Danielle's body is rigid. She doesn't want to relax and risk slipping through the loop. Who can blame her? For sure. If she falls, it'll take the ships five minutes to stop and a good 15 minutes to come back for her. Tell you what, the sea moves pretty quickly beneath you. You're halfway to Perth, but the ship's rolling. <laughs> Jelly on the old legs, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Got that. Oh. Are you all right? Do you want me to hold you up? <laughs> yeah, it knocks the wind out of you. Does it? Can you feel it bouncing around? <laughs> I thought I was going to go in for sure. This is uh, compliments of uh, HMAS Perth. Oh, thank you. There you go. <laughs> I won't forget it. But talk me through it from the moment that they just hauled you up and you realise this is it, I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's really scary. You don't think you're going to get to the other side. Yeah. And when you got to the other side, did you have second thoughts at all about coming back to meet us on this ship? <laughs> I thought you should come over then. <laughs> a special thanks to HMAS Perth and HMAS Newcastle for having us on board. And uh, you're in safe hands with all the guys, weren't you? Daniel, <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> mate. Or should I say, first, mate. Your next trip overseas will be very different from today's.